Greetings YouTube. Today I'm going to review a Cabela's multi-tool. Now, a bit of a story of here. The Cabela's company is in Scarborough, Maine. They have a branch in Scarborough, Maine. And we went up there and my wife wanted to buy something and they asked if they wanted, she wanted to become a member of their Savers Club. So she said, yeah, okay, it would save her some money. Well, her, their Savers Club, quote unquote, is a credit card. She was a little annoyed at this bait and switch, but she signed up, used it once um, to purchase a uh, um, the item in question and never used it again. Paid it off. Well, they keep asking her, would you please use our credit card? And as an incentive, they sent this. So here comes in a pouch, and the pouch is you know, very thin nylon, but you could fit it on a two-inch belt. So if you wanted to carry this, you could actually carry it. And then we have the tool itself. Now, you'll note a problem. It isn't the easiest thing to get out of the pouch. Now, I'm, I'm not pretending here. Getting this thing out of the pouch is nigh impossible because it hooks. There we go. So, and if you do it the other way, so that these little hooky things aren't on the inside of the pouch, you do it that way, it does exactly the same thing going in, hooking on the pouch. So it's a very poor design. Now, it says Cabela's on one side, no marks on the other. It's made from very thin steel. Um, it doesn't have an, an incredible degree of uh, craftsmanship here. It's not completely useless. Now, however, one thing I do like, these tools are all accessible from the outside. Excellent. Great job. I think that every multi-tool should be designed like that. Are you listening, Leatherman? Uh, doesn't, it has a vaguely usable uh, knife blade here. Next we have a Phillips head, but this is not a Phillips head I'd be wanting to use for any kinds of uh, aggressive task at all. Very, very light duty Phillips head. The vid and finish on this, quite frankly, these tools is not bad at all. It really is. It is, is pretty decent. Then we have just a standard size, uh, a standard screwdriver. And on this side, we have a pair of tiny little scissors, which I know could be useful for maybe cutting strings or paper or maybe even a fingernail, but you know, not much else. But they do fit in there fairly nicely. And there we have a bottle opener, because you know every multi-tool needs a bottle opener. And then last on this, we have a saw. Now why they included a saw on this tool, I am not sure. I mean, that, that, that saw is like the length of my finger joint. It is so small, I think it is absolutely useless. But it's relatively sharp. Um, it's got the classic vertical and then slant tooth design. It's double road, so it's actually not a bad design. It's just really, really small. <laughs> just, I think it may be useless. I can't imagine what you'd actually cut with that thing. Now, the main tool is a pair of flyers. Nice and narrow, come to a decent point, probably a little little blunter than your um, than a pair of Leatherman in the same same size. It's got a, uh, a wire cutters. They don't mesh well. I can feel no resistance, but they probably would cut light wires. And again, relatively uh, you know aggressive jaws in there for grabbing nuts and such. Now, one thing I will give them kudos for: there's a spring in there. Now that does mean the spring could probably going to break on you someday. But until then, having a pair of pliers with a spring is uh, is pretty darn cool. I think that's uh, quite a nice design. I like that. I gotta tell you that. My Swiss tool, which I love to death, does not have that feature. But this one does. So, would I pay for the this particular tool? No. No, I would not. But, is it a cute little gadget? And could it potentially be useful to someone who has a light duty you know, a series of things they want to do and they want to have a multi-tool they could just toss into their bag or their purse or something or throw into a glove box, this may meet their needs. Um, I'm not even going to bother putting it in the pouch bed. and let my wife worry about that because this is hers. And she said she wants it back when after I did, did, did my review. 
So there you have a Cabela's uh, multi-tool. It's not horrible. I've seen worse. Um, and it does have some design features I like. Tools accessible from the outside. A spring here for the for the plier. So I'll give them credit where credit is due. Um, there, I think all multi-tools should have tools accessible from the outside. To me, that just makes absolute sense. You should not have to open your multi-tool to access the tools. So there you go. If you ever find yourself signing up for a credit card from Cabela's, you may get one of these for nothing.